T.E. Lawrence, eponymously of Arabia, though very much an Englishman, favored pinching a burning match between his fingers to put it out. When asked by his colleague, William Potter, to reveal his trick, how he so effectively extinguished a burning flame without harming himself whatsoever. Lawrence merely smiled and said to Potter, the trick is not minding that it hurts. The flame that danced at the end of that match was a gift from the Titan Prometheus a gift which he stole from the gods who were afraid of what might happen if it were to fall into our hairy little paws. When Prometheus was caught and brought to justice for his theft, you might say the gods, well, they overreacted just a little bit. They tied the poor man to a rock and an eagle tore at his abdomen and ate his liver over and over day after day, ad infinitum. All because he gave us fire, our first piece of technology, fire. Which begs the question, what have we done with it thus far? 100,000 BC, stone tools. 800 BC, the sundial. Ninth century, gunpowder. Bit of a game changer, that one. 20th century, the automobile, television, the internet, space age, nuclear weapons. 21st century, M theory, nanotech, a biologically weaponized global pandemic, and that was just the first 20 years. We are in the year of our Lord, 2083. We are currently terraforming planets that were previously undiscovered. We have deciphered the genetic code behind 98% of cancers, effectively curing them. We can create cybernetic individuals, basically indistinguishable from the human form which leads to the obvious conclusion. We are the gods now. I haven't been struck down. I'll take that to mean I'm right. We have the ability to transform, to destroy and to create, which asks the question, what are we gonna do with this power? The answer is nothing. Endless rules, regulations, guidelines, ethical standards, all but keeping us from moving forward. And why? Because those that put the rules in effect are afraid of what we could accomplish. Well, I'm not afraid. For those of you that know me, you will know that my ambition is unlimited. I will stop at nothing to achieve greatness. And if I must die trying, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that do not yet know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Katie Wayland. And if you'll indulge me, I'm going to change the world.